coming up, the final event of these world championships. The U.S. against Great Britain in the men's 4 by 400 meter relay. Of course, the U.S. has a great rivalry going with Great Britain in the 4x4. Four four. Ewan Thomas will run leadoff for the British team. The rivalry between the U.S. and Great Britain dates back to the 91 world when Great Britain stunned the U.S. and then reveled in victory. Two years later, it was a completely different story. Michael Johnson led an American quartet to the gold in world record time, a world record that still stands today. Mike, that has to be one of the uh, high points of a career that's full of high points. That because, certainly uh, is, Tom. You know, I mean, those guys, that was a dream team is what it was called with Butch Reynolds, the world record holder, and Quincy Watts at that time, the Olympic gold medalist from 1992, and myself just having won my first world championship in, in, uh, in the 400, and uh, Andrew Bauman, who's always been known as one of the greatest leadoff legs in the world. But it was a great feeling for us to be able to put that kind of team together and lower the world record by over two seconds. Track is such an individual sport that it seems to me that you athletes get great uh, satisfaction from sometimes working as a member of a team. Uh, you know, it's something that you do quite a bit in college. It's something that you always do in college, and then once you become a professional athlete, you miss it because you don't do it very much, and there's not a lot of team uh, teammanship there. But once you can get to a world championship and get on one of those relays, it's a great feeling to be able to get in there and work with some other guys. There's the British team that uh, continues that rivalry with the U.S. The British team in lane four, the U.S. in lane six. This is a three-turn stagger. Well, the British have put Ewan Thomas and Roger Black on the first and second legs. Roger Black being the Olympic silver medalist last year. They're trying to get out early and put pressure on the Americans. It's the same thing they did in 1991 when they won it, finishing up on anchor with a 400 meter hurdler to beat the Americans. Now, Alan Johnson ran anchor leg in the uh, prelims and the semis yesterday. I guess he's got money on the line here, doesn't he? Really you had a chair if they win. And the race is underway lead off leg for britain ewan thomas for the u.s jerome young jerome young's been going out fast every day so is ewan thomas and ewan thomas is still going out hard running a very hard 200 meters he paid for it in the 400 meters open with a uh, disappointing sixth place finish we'll see what he has here as he tries to come home but jerome young now turning it on in very good position jerome young doing a good job no cheering alan <laughs> oh, I have to cheer. USA. <laughs> He's got money on the line. And I really hope these guys can pull this out. 80,000 to the winning relay team. Second leg underway. Antonio Pettigrew for the U.S. For the British team, Roger Black, Olympic silver medalist in Atlanta in the 400 last year. That was a 44-4 opener by Jerome Young. A very good slip. For the first leg, he put Antonio Pettigrew in great position. As you can see right now, he's got about a five-meter lead. Roger Black's moving into position ahead of the Jamaicans. Jamaicans also have a very good team with some good 400-meter guys. They're missing Rockford Martin, a 97 NCAA champion, but they've got a good team, and they're making ground up on the Americans right now. Pettigrew has the lead for the U.S., but Roger Black of Great Britain is closing, and Greg Houghton of Jamaica in there in third, and now Pettigrew begins to pull away again. Third leg coming up. Here's Chris Jones for the United States. Jamaica is there with Danny McFarland. And for Britain, it is Danny Ball. Outstanding leg by Antonio Pettigrew, 43-2. He ran a great leg yesterday to open it up. Put the guys in great position. Chris Jones, a very young sprinter, just uh, out of college, being passed right now. Danny Ball blows by him for the British take the lead. U.S. second, Jamaica third. Chris Jones. Jones has sprint speed. He may be able to use it coming home. Danny Dalton has been running out very hard. He may run out of gas coming home. Ball to Great Britain in front. But here comes the U.S. Chris Jones has overhauled him to retake the lead. Now Tyree Washington with the anchor leg. We saw Chris Jones pointing for Tyree Washington to get out because he didn't get out as hard as he should have. And you're taught to get out hard and to have full extension to make up some time. Tyree Washington for the U.S. has the lead. Mark Richardson of Britain tracks him in second. For Jamaica, Davian Clark right there in third. Washington still holding the lead. Richardson moving up to challenge for Britain. In the turn for home. 
U.S. in front. Britain second, Jamaica third. Here comes Richardson to challenge Washington. It'll be all out sprint through the stretch. Washington of the U.S., Richardson of Great Britain. They're right together. Washington's still there. He's holding him off. Coming down for the finish. Tyree Washington of the U.S. And the Americans win again. Great race by Tyree Washington. 43-9 on the ankle leg, or 44-8, actually, for uh, for the third leg. But that was a good race by those guys. Chris Jones did a good job coming back. Being a new guy on this relay, he was a little tentative when he went out. He didn't go out as hard as he probably could have. 44-8, he's run better than that, and probably could run better than that if he had gone out harder. But just a good, solid effort by these guys with that kind of pressure because the Great Britain team has been running very well and have some very good young sprinters. This is a very young team as well, but I'm very proud of what they've done out here, and they should be very proud of themselves. So even without Michael Johnson, even without Alan Johnson for that matter, <laughs> the U.S. <laughs> takes the gold medal, and that rivalry between the British and the Americans was everything it was uh, billed to be. But well, Jamie Bosch running very hard through the first 200 meters. We saw him run exactly the same way in my quarterfinal when he went out in 45-0 and ran, but he came back, and these guys should have been watching. I'm sure that Chris Jones and Tyree Washington and all of them are aware of what he did, but Chris Jones, also been a 200-meter runner in the past, has good speed, and didn't go out very hard in the first 200, so he knew that he had something left in the, in the, in the tank and came back very strong down the home stretch. This to was put very, Tyree very Washington well. back in the lead. This was important, wasn't it, to the outcome of the race that Jones was able to come back, and then Tyree Washington takes off on the anchor leg, and when Mark Richardson challenged him, Washington was uh, up to it. But for a young guy like Tyree Washington, this is his first major international competition. Holding his composure right here, knowing that the Great Britain guy was right behind him and right on his heels, was a very good job for him to hold on like that and to be able to hold his composure under that kind of pressure. So what depth the U.S. has at 400 meters, four different men running the relay from last year, and still the gold medal winners even without Michael Johnson. U.S. wins the 4x4 four four in 2.56.47. The British second, the Jamaicans finish third. So once again, the stars and stripes fly over the 4x4. Four four. And we'll be back to Athens to wrap things up in just a moment.